Today during science, we're going to continue reading our Earth and Sun FOSS science textbook. I'm going to use the page finder and turn to page 92. On page 92, we're going to learn about weather instruments. These are the instruments that we use to measure the weather so we know what it's going to be like tomorrow. Weather instruments. Meteorologists are scientists who study weather. Weather is the condition of the air in an area. The conditions can change, so they are called weather variables. The most important weather variables to meteorologists are temperature, air pressure, humidity, and wind. Meteorologists use weather instruments to measure each variable. A meteorologist is a scientist who studies the weather. Are you interested in studying the weather when you grow up? You could be a meteorologist. Temperature. Temperature is a measure of how hot the air is. Temperature is measured with a thermometer. There are many kinds of thermometers. The most common kind is a liquid thermometer. A liquid thermometer is a thin glass tube connected to a small bulb of liquid. As the liquid warms and cools, it expands and contracts. The height of the column of liquid in the tube changes in response to the temperature. By labeling the liquid tube to show temperatures, the meteorologist can read the temperature directly from the thermometer. So here's the thermometer. You might have seen it before. On the side, it tells you the temperature, and the red liquid tells you how hot it is. Metals also expand and contract in response to temperature change. Some thermometers use strips made of two different metals to detect temperature changes. These are called bimetallic thermometers. The two metals have different rates of expansion. One side of the strip expands more than the other as it heats up, and the strip bends. A pointer on the end of the bending strip points to the temperature. So these are different types of thermometers to tell what temperature it is. Here's a weather tower, and on the top there's a weather station so that meteorologists can measure things like the temperature. Meteorologists also measure air pressure. Air pressure. Air pressure is the force of air pushing on things around it. Air pressure changes with the density of the air. When air heats up, it becomes less dense. When it cools, it becomes more dense. The instrument that measures air pressure is called a barometer. Air pushes on a closed container, one side of which is attached to a dial in the barometer. The harder the air pushes, the higher the dial goes. The dial measures in units called millibars. Changes in air pressure mean that weather conditions will change. Falling air pressure means rain is coming. Rising air pressure means fair and dry weather is coming. So meteorologists also measure air pressure. If the air pressure goes down or falls, that means rain is coming. If the, air, if the air pressure rises or goes up, that means dry weather is coming. They also measure... Humidity. Water vapor is water, H2O, in its gas state. As vapor, water can enter the air. The water vapor will eventually condense and form drops of water, which can fall as rain. Meteorologists measure humidity, the amount of water in the air, with instruments called hygrometers. Humidity is measured as a percentage. Meteorologists also measure humidity. Humidity is how much water is in the air. Wind speed. Moving air is called wind. Meteorologists are interested in how fast the wind is moving. To measure wind speed, Meteorologists use anemometers and wind meters. An anemometer uses a rotating shaft with wind-catching cups attached at the top. The harder the wind blows, the faster the shaft rotates, and the faster the cups move through the air. The moving cups measure the wind speed. A wind meter is an instrument with a small ball in a tube. When wind blows across the top of the tube, the flow of air up the tube lifts the ball. 
The harder the wind blows, the higher the ball rises. Both instruments are adjusted to report wind in miles per hour, MPH, or kilometers, KM, per hour. So meteorologists also measure wind. This is one instrument they use to measure the wind. Not only do they measure the wind, they need to know what direction the wind is going. Wind direction. Meteorologists are also interested in the direction the wind is blowing. To determine wind direction, meteorologists use a wind vane. A wind vane is a shaft with an arrow point on one end and a broad paddle shape at the other end. When wind hits the paddle, it rotates the shaft so that the arrow points into the wind. Using a compass, the meteorologist determines the direction the shaft is pointing. Wind direction is the direction from which the wind is blowing. It is reported in compass directions, such as north or south. Modern weather instruments. Meteorologists now use a combination of traditional weather instruments and computer-based digital weather instruments. Meteorologists get information from advanced electronic instruments that are placed in good locations for monitoring weather. Those instruments use radio transmitters, like those in cell phones, to send information to weather centers where meteorologists work. This weather device for home use has electronic instruments inside for detecting and reporting temperature and humidity. Some models measure air pressure and are connected to anemometers to measure wind speed. So if you're interested in weather, maybe one day you can become a meteorologist. And then you can use these fancy new modern weather instruments to help you do your job. Tell me something you learned about um, weather.